Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing Lycan. Going into the bottom lane, this was a random draft, and yeah. I mean, I, I guess that's kind of it. I wasn't sure who to pick, I don't really know. Like, these days I look at the drafting screen and I'm just like, these all look the same to me. I don't know, maybe I've become Dota racist. But, hey, check the Rubik's set. That is a fancy Rubik's set. Look at how he's like colorful and shit. That is really, really weird, actually. It's got dice on it and all of that. Huh. Crazy. Alright, anyway. So I thought Lycan would be a bit of fun. We just kind of push and win. And if we don't win, then we just kind of keep pushing. And then we win. And if we don't win at that point, we just kind of keep pushing. And then... Ooh, we really hope we win at that stage. <laughs> we really hope we win at that stage. Because if we don't win at that stage, we have a problem. So, yeah. Something I've been doing recently is I've been taking Coco on the leash and going outside with her into the garden. And it's actually kind of nice, although the problem I have, and I'm not sure about this, like, I don't know if, if cats show signs of being cool, the same way we, like, we humans do, I guess, right? I am just a human like you, totally not a robot, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, ha, that was so funny, I'm so funny. Um... I'm the worst. <laughs> Where am I going with this? I'm sure I was going somewhere, but then I forgot. Um, right. Right. So I go, like, out outside with her and chill with her, you know, and, like, and have her run around a little bit. So she gets used to being outside, and so she gets used to, uh, you know, just kind of being out there. We can't just let her go outside. Can't do that. Uh, she doesn't have her vaccinations yet and all of that. Right, and even then, even if she had her vaccinations, we're not sure if we even want to do that. Um, but anyway, that's a different discussion. We are no, that's not really the point right now. But you know, I know she wants to like go outside to to play there, so I've been taking her into the garden on the leash and all of that. And the thing is, I usually go out there for I don't know about fifteen minutes before I decide that okay, she's shivering a lot, <laughs> right? Like she is shivering like quite a bit, like she's just shaking. And I'm like, okay, I mean, you seem fine, based on the fact that you're, like, still running around and having fun, it seems to me. Alright, but she just, like, is shivering. I'm like, okay, you know what, like, I'm just not gonna risk it, you come inside now, right, we've been out here for long enough. So I always make sure we don't stay out for too long, just in case, but, like, I think, I think that, like, means she's cold, right? And it is pretty cold out, and she's, like, tiny, right? But I'm actually not sure about that. But yeah. Anyway. Speed him up. Just kind of like hit him a bunch. You howl. I cannot catch up. Do we have another lift? Oh my god, the body blocking. No, we don't have a second lift. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Almost worked though. Well, it was pretty. That was pretty good, man. It's pretty nice. He got to prove that he's good now that I, now that he, you know, gets to actually play something that he knows how to play. Because we just played some beacon fire and I wrecked Satsa so fucking bad. <laughs> like that wasn't even. That wasn't even funny. I felt mean. I felt really mean because of how bad I was wrecking him. You know, like so. I'm just like, you know, he got to prove himself now. He got to make sure that I know that. Yeah, you know, I actually knows how to play some video games. See. But yeah, cold coal. <laughs> yeah, you know, she gets pretty cold out there, I think. So I like only go out with her for like, I don't know, 15 minutes at a time. And she always wants to like stay out for a little while longer and keep playing. Although something that's been really nice is like, we've got two cats, right? And uh, we only got Coco because I thought Noah was kind of lonely and, you know, uh, he would want another cat there. I think that really worked. Because they play with each other all the time. Like seriously, all the fucking time. Always playing. Um, when I went out into the garden today with Coco, which I, I did that before the stream, you know, to put a leash on her, went out into the garden with her, and then Noah came and, like, started playing with her in the garden, right? Like, he, he came and, like, hung out with us until, you know, I decided it's time to go inside, and then, you know, he left as well. So, it's... it's I've also think it's been working because, like, one of the big goals I have with getting a second cat or a hat with getting a second cat, is making sure that Noah comes home every day. Right, because I want him home every day so I know he's safe. 
And usually he would take pretty long, I don't know, I don't know what you would call it, but it would take pretty long trips, right? He would just like leave and not come back for two weeks. That would happen. But not anymore. Like he hasn't, he hasn't gone missing for a day for, I don't know, a month? How long have we had Coco? Like seriously, forever. He's just been home every single, I mean, he just came home. Like just a second ago, he's in his box right now. You see, that's his box. He likes this box. I don't know why he likes the box, but he likes the box. So I guess the box is staying there. Like he is always in that fucking box all the time, all the time. So, you know, anyway, cats, I know. It's just something that's kind of important to me, you know. I'm just happy that they are getting along. I'm just happy that, you know, they're having fun. I'm happy that Noah's coming home every day. You know, I'm a little concerned about going outside with her when it's too cold because, like, she's always shivering and shit. But I think as long as I just keep it to short, like, periods of time, right? Only, like, 10, 15 minutes, it should be fine. All right? But, yeah. Anyway, is he back? All right, we're back. Hello. Am I getting candy? Well, that's nice. <laughs> I'm incredibly upset about the candy. Well, well, thank you. I've I've got candy now. I'm kind of doing a thing here. Yeah, Noah's there. But I got candy now. Got some dinner coming. Want some too? Yeah, man. Hook me up. <laughs> I've got candy now. Isn't that nice? Why is the cat in the box is like asking Balmy by Warlock Mid? Because Warlock Mid is the best! You know what, that does actually make sense. <laughs> Warlock Mid is the bomb, man. Alright. I don't really think there is another way to play Warlock, is there? There's only a way I know. It's just mid, right? Anyway. Let me go ahead and finish my candy really quick. I don't usually eat while I'm recording, but I guess I have candy now. I didn't. I had no say in this. I was not giving an op given an option. I gotta get better about denying. I usually just, you know, get lazy with denies and ignore them. It's not really. It's not really good. Right, like it's not a good habit to not take care that you are denying, but again, just me being lazy. Anyway, one of the really nice things about Lycan these days is Lycan has so much HP regeneration. It's beautiful, right? So what are we doing? Are we just straight rushing Necro 3? Or do we get like Vladimir's first? Like what's the, what's the Lycan build these days? What's the Lycan build these days? Do I go straight, straight Necro? Do I go Mask of Madness, Necro? I know that people like to buy Mask of Madness on Lycan now, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Do you get Lotus off? <laughs> Can you get your stupid copy pasta out of the way? <laughs> I'm trying to read chat. <laughs> oh man. Chad has been obsessing over Lotus Orb today. Like, I don't know why. I frankly don't understand. But I guess so be it. Right, if that's how it is, then that's just how it is. Alright, we've got ourselves uh, 7 HP regeneration now. Now we can, like, super easily trade hits. Like, it's fine. We've got so much health regen. It's awesome. Like, this is really such a fantastic ability to have. Also adds a ton of damage. You get Helm of the Dominator. I don't really think Helm of the Dominator is bought much anymore, is it? Like, it used to be the most common thing in the world. Right when they changed it, and even before they changed it. But... Now, these days, I don't think anybody gets it anymore. I think Helm of the Dominator needs an upgrade. Like, I think for people to start buying Helm of the Dominator again without really making it overpowered, it just needs a, an upgrade. Like, something it builds into. Right, it used to build into Satanic, and that was... Great. 
doesn't do that anymore, and I can actually agree with that. I think the build-up to Satanic was just too easy, considering how good Satanic is, right? Alright, we're just getting Necro. No respect. No respect. Just straight Necro book, let's start pushing. You know, that kind of stuff. Come here. No. Alright, I guess not. I guess not. But yeah, people used to just, you know. Actually, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I'm just gonna rush my Necro book here. We'll get, we'll get it as early as possible so I can, like, push super aggressively. That's really what I wanna do. Just wanna be in people's faces, get buildings. That kind of thing. Oh yeah. How of the Dominator is one of those items? Oh, yeah, I also suppose we really need to mess with that jungling legion commander. Apparently they got a jungling legion commander. That's just not okay, man. But it's not really up to me. Like I, I don't even have a support down here anymore. Like I had the Rubik, but the Rubik has mostly just been pulling recently, which is you know, mostly something that the Rubik does to help himself, because I don't really need it. Like it doesn't benefit me all that much. It does benefit him though. Oh, well. Yeah, denying is actually really something I should do, because if I deny, I actually get experience. You know? So I'm, like, essentially just getting experience I wouldn't normally get. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway. Oh, come on, man. Rude. He's just hoping for a multicast. He's just fishing. Like, can you see the fishing? It's so real. It's so real. We're good, though. We're just fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna use my healing potion right here. I don't think it's necessary. But I don't see a reason to take a risk. And also... It's not like I'm gonna need it later. Right? Like, I don't think we're really in... Dire... Straits for a healing potion here. Doesn't seem like something that's much of an issue. Alright. Got ourselves level 1 Necro book. Uh, we can use that for something, I'm sure. I actually really need to start leveling up my wolves. I'm gonna go for that next. I'm not gonna max out the W. I actually kind of regret putting a, uh, you know, a second point into the howl. I feel like just one point would have done fine. But oh well, that's just how it is now, right? It's <laughs> just how it is. Where was I going with this? Man, I'm, I'm like, pretty distracted right now. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure why. Just, like, centering all of my attention on this laning here, man. I'm a god at laning. Dude! Can't wait for the new patch. I wanna go into, like, a giant-ass ramble again. Well, let me say one thing. Like, I know I'm, like, really complainy. Right? Like, I always am like, oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. And that's just honestly kind of how I am as a person. And I get that that can be a little bit annoying. But I'm looking forward to the new patch. It's been so long and I'm really excited because like Dota after a new patch is always a ton of fun. Right? It's always just like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Right? Like I'm looking forward to the hero reworks. I'm looking forward to the two new heroes. Looking forward to seeing are my predictions right? <laughs> Actually, really looking forward to seeing that. Hey, that's rude. Okay. Got him. Alright. But to me, that's like all really exciting. And, um... Not even just that, like... Just... Getting a new patch of Dota. Because this is the thing about Dota. The reason why I get so upset is because I really like this game. This game is so fucking cool. Right? Like, if this game wasn't so fucking cool, I wouldn't give a shit. Why would I care? Like, nobody cares about bad games. Nobody gives a damn if they are doing well or not. If they're doing the right thing. Alright? But I really care about Dota doing the right thing because Dota is so fucking cool. And the new patch 
It's gonna be like so. Oh, man, I'm so excited for it. Like, I'm not, not, not even joking, and I'm not lying here. I'm just really, really looking forward to it. Because it's gonna be that honeymoon period uh, again, right? That honeymoon period. Where we're all like, as if we are learning a new game, man. Something I really enjoy about Dota. Right? Like, every time a new patch comes around, it's almost as if I'm playing an entirely new game, and I'm like, yeah! I wonder what crazy shit we can do this time, you know? Last time we got a lot of crazy shit, we got shrines and talents. Now what's next time going to be? Okay. Oh, I actually should get these out of here. They're worth a lot of money. Yeah. I think the creep got it, which is good. Sucks a bit I died right there, but bad rider. Not really much I can do there. Hey, Drop582, thank you for the sub, my man. Very much appreciate that. Still not doing in the mid lane. Two and two. That's reasonable. Who did he go up against? The bad rider. Yeah, that's actually a pretty hard matchup at times. Like, I'm not really, you know, like, oh my god, Timo, how could you lose that? No, 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 no. Bad rider can be tough, man. That's, that's nasty. And Tempag 6758. Thanks for the sub as well, my man. It's awesome. Really helps out a lot. Appreciate it. Alright. Beat these fellas up. Yeah. And you know, like, my current mindset, or like, my current situation in life kind of looks like this, where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go on a, like, huge-ass trip around the world. <laughs> A little bit of vacation here and there, well, you know, but mostly work. And um, when I come back, there might be an entirely new Dota, right? When I come back, it's only going to be a few days until Dota gets patched. So, it's just like, man, that is, that's exciting. Like, we're going to get there, right? So I can't just come back, just had a huge break from all of this, fully ready, full of energy to go again. And then there's gonna be the new patch, man. Man. That's gonna be, that's gonna be pretty, pretty sick. Alright. I didn't see his item choices yet. Why? Right, what does he have? It's just going yours. It's reasonable. There's nothing wrong with it. I like yours on Shadowfiend a lot. I'm a big fan of yours on Shadowfiend, actually. Come here. I've conditioned him to believe that when I summon the wolves, I'm about to summon my Necrobook, which is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why he decided to not keep going. Right? It's kind of nice like that, how you can use that. You know, mindset of people. The way they think. Oh, he summoned skeletons out of my my wolf. Alright. I'm not sure people even know that these days, but for that ability, you actually need a corpse nearby. In Mocha 3, everything you killed left a corpse. In Dota 2, they don't do that anymore. But that ability right there, it's based on a Walker 3 spell. And that required a corpse to work. Okay, we're gonna go in on that. Got him. Okay, that's a necro book. And that's gonna be a tower. And that's going to be a tower. Which is nice. It's about time. I haven't really been applying too much pressure here. Mostly because it's just me against the ogre and it's kind of risky. And I don't really feel like taking that risk. Like, just doesn't seem worth it. But now, hell yeah, I'm gonna go. Alright, time to get some tower pressure done here. No. Oh, hello, Ogre. Alright, I guess time to go back. Let's get some casual threats. I'm mostly... I'm mostly skipping stuff, you know, I just kind of like... 
win straight Necker, but I think getting some treads is still a worthwhile effort. They're not very expensive and they do a ton. I'm also a god at this stage, by the way. I want to make that clear. I have a Necker book free. Right? I am the strongest hero on the map. <laughs> right? This is not even fucking close. There's nobody on this map that can even remotely challenge me. Which is super nice. Okay, that was not a great TP. Well, the master doesn't always... The, the master is still learning, you know? Okay. Okay. Uh, just kind of going in a little bit. I'm gonna go out. Double kill. Even the master still has things to learn. Right? Like... Gotta... <laughs> that was a bad TP. I mean, honestly, it may have gotten me there a little bit faster, but it's just not worth the TP, man. <laughs> it, it, may just, it probably just wasn't worth the TP. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get this tower. Yeah, I'm a god. You may notice they threw everything at me, and here I am looking healthy. They just can't really do it. Hey, Funky Serious, thank you for the sub. And somebody in chat is asking when are we gonna play Cuphead after this game. When we're done here, we're gonna play some Cuphead. I'm actually really excited, man. Like, I've been like, oh, I wanna play Cuphead all day. Anyway, we're like uh, 90 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We'll definitely appreciate that. Uh, we'll keep going here. Um, I think I get Vladimir's. You know? Like again, another item I skipped early, because I just went straight Necker book free, but it's just kind of good. I could also skip that and go straight to Sokoros, but maybe Latimus is nice. I kind of like myself with Latimus. <sighs> Alright. Cost that. Thank you. I'm actually really not sure if I should go for it. There's a bit fight, a big fight at the bottom. I'm gonna use that to just push top. Like, yeah, this is going to keep them busy. I break towers like it's nothing. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, we'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Did you think he would stand a chance against that? Hmm. He actually did insta-kill my one Necrobook summon, though. Which is a little bit crazy. I didn't even see it. I was, like, wondering why he took so much damage all at once, but... He actually, like, somehow kind of one-shot my one Necrobook summon. All right, it's it's uh, the Vladimir is nice for the armor. The, the the summons I have don't have very much of it, so I think getting a little bit on top of that is gonna be nice. And we're gonna just go so across afterwards. All right, should be fine. By defusal blade, why? What is there to defusal? I mean, you know what? I'm actually gonna do that. Like I haven't tried that build yet. People have been buying Diffuser Blade on Lycan just to like make it so people can't run away from him. Because Diffuser Blade is like the cheapest, strongest, slow in the game. Sure. Let's give it a shot. I haven't actually tried it myself, you know. Oh, Timo. No, he should have just dropped it there. Okay, still coming in. Has he used his ultimate yet? No. Okay, I'm, I want to kill this dude. Good, there's a Legion Commander. Oh, run, run, run. Nice.
I wasn't worried. I was worried the... Uh, I was worried that the lion would kill me. I wasn't worried the Legion Commander would win that duel. She wasn't going to win that duel. <laughs> like, she just, she just wasn't. That was not... That was not going to happen. So. Hey! Easy game. Also the Rubik with the dual victory. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Okay, howl it up. Get some tower damage in. Well, we probably have to go back here. Yeah, we should go back. Wish I was level 15. To be honest. Level 15 would be pretty neat. Okay, this is a problem. Alright. Bring them to the trees. Get ourselves to fellow feral HP region. Mm hmm It just gives you a lot of HP as an alternative to diffusal. I don't actually think that's a terrible idea. But diffusal is just kind of like cheaper. Your know, Atos is actually pretty expensive. <laughs> the second goal win. <gasps> oh, that's a big tower. Mm, that should be enough, yeah. I'm just gonna push the barracks. I like Lycan. This hero is so nice and simple. Right? It's great. It's just... Kill him. Just, like, kill him. Right? You don't do anything fancy on the way there. Right? Like and straight, it takes the straightest path to victory, which is just right there. Straight armor to victory. And oh, no, a straight armor, straight road. Somebody in chat wrote armor, so my brain was like, ah, that's the word. No. Straight road to victory, just crashing through everything, you know? Like, no problem at all. Just go get him. Alright. I'm gonna get myself on a soul cross. Self the diffuser blade. Because I've got so much money, you know, and I think the Soul Cross is better. Just if Fuser Blade is cheaper. I'm not really too keen on fi fighting anyway. Elliot Tire, thank you for the sub, my man. Appreciate that. Uh, Fucking sick, you know. Oh, yeah. Picks Lycan to play Cuphead. Well, that's what I pick Lycan for, right? Like, Lycan is just, you know, we'll make the game last 15 minutes and then. We can play Cuphead! <laughs> yeah. You know. Alright. Fairly close to our Assault Cross here. I'll just leave it at that. I don't really want to get caught. And there's really no reason for me to get caught. Right. We can get the tower. We can get out. So why would I do anything else? I should drop the boom and shield and get that big chunk of armor. It's definitely better. <laughs> Ten armor is definitely better than a boom and shield. Boom and shield is the better item, but plate mail has the better stats. It's just also more expensive, you know. Do we? I don't even need to use my necro here, do I? I don't think I do. We'll howl. Just to speed it up a bit. Uh, Timo, you take it. I shouldn't take it, it's not as important for me. Also, Lycan is a transformation hero, he doesn't benefit from it as much. Also, I am so tanky. Like, I have so much HP, I've got a good chunk of armor, you know. Not easy to kill. Well, he is, you know, he kind of dies. <laughs> Just because of the nature of Shadow Fiend. Uh, I guess he actually is not much squishier than me, but still a bit. Alright, there's a tower left at the bottom lane. I think I want to go and finish that before I do anything crazy here. I, I would rather not push up there. I want to kill the bottom tower, get the assault cross, and then push there. 
Or actually, I could kill the shrine. This seems like a good idea as well. But I need a little bit more money. I'll just leave the wolves to it. They'll kill it eventually. <laughs> it might take a bit, but hey. No, I want the Assault Cross. I want the Assault Cross. You know, Assault Cross is just such a great pushing item, man. So good. So good. Alright, we got that. And we got it. Sorry, I'm setting the career back right now. Are you buying a Lotus Orb? Your top tower's hurting. <laughs> you don't feel any shame. Do you not feel any shame? Don't encourage them. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, this is not a great idea. But... Oh, nice! The Lotus Orb! <laughs> Alright, who am I to question this, right? You know what? I was gonna wait until I have the Soul Cross, but I guess not. Oh, nice ultimate. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It would've just been nice to have, but whatever. Didn't even need to howl. Well, I guess I'll do it now. Easy peasy. I like like him. This hero's great. <laughs> Look at how great this hero is. It's just you get yourself some towers. You get yourself some beaches. Easy money, easy life. And uh and you win the video game. Okay. Cool. Yes, I know, the Lotus Orb. I know. It was the Lotus Orb that saved us, oh my god, because we don't have an Abaddon again do the same fucking thing. <sighs> Alright. That was a nice game. Nice, quick, and easy. Hey, I would farm Timo. That's crazy. I like how the Rubik got 40 dual victory damage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, I did not farm him, actually. That's kind of crazy. I mean, Lycan doesn't farm as well as a Shadow Fiend, so... Lycan doesn't also... Doesn't also also doesn't need that much money, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. Hope to see you guys tomorrow.